What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little bastard, it's a business. A dead meat. Another clown vignette shows a dude speeding down the road when a tall ass clown named Slim pulls up next to him. But it looks like he's riding nothing at all. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Lori's busy being an SMRT smart girl, and our final girl Sarah, who like many final girls before her, is SMRT. I am too smart. SMRT. You used to be cool, Sarge. What happened to you, man? What happened to you, China? You used to be cool. They think they're in the clear, but Lep is sideshow bobbing underneath that car. <laughs> 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 that leads to a nasty mouth stab and some bleeding gums Murphy style. Thanks, Mr. Murphy. My friends call me Bleeding Gums. Ew. Slim appears at a bus stop and starts charming the people there with some shadow puppets that are super impressive for a dude with the same number of fingers as a Simpsons character. Hey, Bart. According to this magazine, in another million years, man will have an extra finger. Five fingers? Ooh, freak show. This intro has everything. Little poopy chocolate boys, kids who want you to not have a cow man. Don't have a cow, Dad. Better let that kid go and not have such a cow man. Don't have a cow man. He climbs in through the window, and even a duty-brained monster can see that Elizabeth is quite a catch. <laughs> 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 Hubba hubba. And there's your king size bed for. Hubba hubba. Stop that. These three are seriously shook by getting shot at, so they plan to just lay low until their audition that'll get them to the fireworks factory. Or, I mean, Vegas. When are they gonna get to the fireworks factory? <laughs> Then she goes outside to the junkyard and finds where Bishop's body was chopped. It's just a little dirty. It's still good. It's still good. It's just a little dirty. It's still good. It's still good. In the room, Heather finds, oh shit, yo, is that Rex? Oh my boy. It's just a little evisceration. He's still good. He's still good. It's just a little slimy. It's still good. It's still good. She finds the police car. That's good. But then discovers the cop's corpse inside. That's bad. Lep shows up and she sticks him in the eye with a baton. That's good. But then he rips the door off the police car, which is bad. Can she go now? Take this object, but beware. It carries a terrible curse. Ooh, that's bad. But it comes with a free frogut. That's good. The frogut is also cursed. That's bad. But you get your choice of topping. That's good. The toppings contain potassium benzoate. That's bad. Can I go now? By this time, Bracket has made it outside and ends up in a two-tiered race with the Predator, which the loonies see from their school bus. Hey, a Pred dude, all right. Hey, Jerry Axbird dude, all right. All of a sudden, his car won't start, and his doors won't open, and his seatbelt won't unbuckle. Ay, caramba. Ay, caramba. And Michael winds up with a free ax for the taking. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Kate rejects a rekindling with her recent ex-boyfriend, Adam, played by David Boreanaz. At this time in his career, in this type of movie, localized entirely within this cemetery? Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. The movie begins with OG Van Helsing, Edward Van Sloan, giving a word of friendly warning to the audience. I think it will thrill you. It might even... Horrifying. If this looks familiar, it's because The Simpsons parodied this opening in their first few Treehouse of Horror episodes. So if you have sensitive children, maybe you should tuck them into bed early tonight instead of writing us angry letters tomorrow. His influence is everywhere in cinema and popular culture at large. I don't think anyone would say that all the problems weren't worth it though, considering the impact that Jaws continues to have on popular culture to this very day. Welcome to The Kill Count, where we tally up the victims in all our favorite horror movies. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at the Purge election year. Hmm. I don't understand why we have to build a ray gun to aim at a planet I never even heard of. Don't blame me, I voted for Kodos. Go! Driving down these Texan roads is a band full of youngsters and this 30-year-old Disco Stew looking dude. Who's Disco Stew? They get to their old family house and start exploring it, with Sally showing the others her old room. Disco Stew flirting with the final girl. Disco stew doesn't advertise. 
When Kirk and Pam are gone longer than expected, Jerry offers to go look for them and travels through the woods as the sun goes down. Disco Stu, walking into the sunset. Disco Stu likes disco music. Leatherface runs in and smashes Jerry's skull to kill him nice and quick. Disco Stu, hopping on the kill count. Disco Stu wants you to be comfortable. It's 1973, apparently, even though Jessica Beale is the most 2003 looking woman I've ever seen. Oh well, at least this dude's being faithful with that Disco Stu style. Disco Stu got hooked on the white stuff back in the 70s. He explains in a real weird voice acting delivery. My Purge playlist. I put a lot of thought into it, especially this final tune, as it'll be the last song you'll ever hear. He sounds like an exasperated side character on The Simpsons, but this dude is no Gil Gunderson. You got any leads? I need some leads, please help me. That's enough, Gil. Don't drag her down with you. Mmm, sooty. Mmm, pancakes. Mmm, blood. Mmm, beer. Mmm, chop top scalp. Mmm. Toilet green. Mmm, dagger blade. Mmm, burger. Mmm, Pantene Plus. Mmm, organized crime. Mmm, lo fi. Mmm, sacrilegious. Mmm, rubber. Mmm, donuts. Mmm, elder bark. Mmm, 64 slices of American cheese. Mmm, delicious eyeballs. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh no, Gregory. Oh, gross, man. Mmm, something. He gets it taken care of with some drugs. Mmm, drugs. Back in the infirmary, Ripley starts coming down with a cough, so Clemens prescribes her some drugs. Mmm. They put her to sleep with a nice needle full of drugs. Mmm. Then he gives them some mmm drugs, which both of them take without question. In no time at all, he's getting ambushed by a pig head and knocked out with delicious drugs. Mmm. Franklin sticks him in the neck with some mmm drugs and knocks the doctor out. Art is able to snatch Tara up and inject her with mmm drugs. The hospital staff injects Helen with some calming mmm drugs. He ends up beating Mancho to death while Speedball watches with his favorite Showtime snack, drugs. Mm. They swarm him and stick the poor kid with a needle of mmm drugs. All right, now I gotta look up this thing to do. Okay. <laughs> There's so many. Bree, I'm just doing them piecemeal, edit them together. If you need to look up what I'm doing, it's called, just search on YouTube for Simpsons Hubba Hubba. I'd love to do a super cut of my Simpsons references, but it's one of those things, it's kind of like the Star Wars references. Anyone else who I ask to like look through and collect them is probably gonna miss some shit.